Hey Libra, welcome to your love reading. This will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what's coming up for you, what's going on in your love life right now. Especially if you have a particular person that you are dealing with or thinking about. I hope all Libras out there, I hope you're all doing well. And soon it's going to be your season. So hang in tight and let's see what's coming up for you. All right. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First card out, it's Ten of Pentacles, happiness, joy, love, everything that you have wished for. For some of you, you are already embodying it. You know how they, how they usually say, when you manifest something, yeah, feel it. Right? If you want money, feel that you already have it right now. If you want love, you have to feel it and live it right now as if you already have it. So looks to me like you are now embodying the Ten of Pentacles. That is stability. It could be that you have um, a peace of mind right now or there's that inner peace in terms of, of wanting what you want because for some of you, you may already have received or achieved whatever you want for this year. Yeah? That's a Ten of Pentacles. Also, this could mean that you could already be ready for relationship. You might not even be thinking about it. You could already be ready to be proposed or to be engaged. You are at that point, yeah, that you are longing for it. You're wanting it. For some of you, you are already embodying it. Yeah. And that also means that if you embody it, Libra, that means that other people can see it too. Yeah, they could feel that aura from you that, hey, this Libra is ready for it. They're just waiting for the right person for the right time, you know, something like that. That's a Ten of Pentacles. Uh, for some of you, this is like getting good opportunities to really come in play into your life. Things can just flow easily. So you could even have more luck in terms of money. It's practicality, right? Pentacles are... Um, tangible things in life it could be things that you are working on in the in the in um, the physical world are st starting to take shape for some of you they are being fulfilled as around this time you're getting your your ambitions reached you're getting your um si um signature on a house that you have been hoping to buy on you know something like that you you're, you're getting to it yeah, or in, in terms of achieving it, you're almost there. Maybe just one more step. For some of you, you already got it, okay? So I hope that's that's kind of clear. Now, um, I feel like you have someone, the person that you have in mind, Libra, this is someone who is not in a good state right now emotionally. Somebody who may be hurting, in pain, um, or somebody who could even be regretting because of their um, lack of certainty towards you. Yeah, somebody here may have been very uncertain or going back and forth or not very consistent in terms of dealing with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, hence we have the Three of Swords that's pain, that's disappointment. Uh, I'm getting that this is someone who may have done you wrong. And now they feel the pain of it. Yeah. Instead of inflicting the pain on you, you're coming in as the Ten of Pentacles. So what's the pain in, in getting what you want? <laughs> There's no pain there, right? But for them right now, I feel that this person is sad. It could be also depression. It could be in a very down low point in their life. Towards you, I'm getting that this person... Um, if they may not have been yet, this is someone who wants to or who's, who's comfortable in opening up to you, yeah, opening up to you emotionally, who wants to get closer to you, who wants to, and not just physically, Libra, this is cups. So somebody who wants to be closer emotionally, to be connected to you, um, 
this could be manifested through courting you, through calling you, through wanting to be with you. Yeah, and this is what this person wants. On your end, you have a lot of things going on. A lot of things are changing. For some of you, you could be going for travel. That's the eight of wands. A lot of changes. You're not stuck in a situation. There's movements. Yeah, changes and movements happening in your life. And they can see that. They can see that. So if there is a lot of changes all being launched, that means you're flying off, you're starting new projects, you're kicking off new things, launching all for the good purpose, yeah, towards your Ten of Pentacles. So basically success, yeah, you're surrounded by success, you're surrounded by that passionate energy of really going for what you want in life. And nothing can stop you because you are heading towards that Ten of Pentacles. But you have someone here who's emotionally quiet, but feeling you. Feeling you. And this is someone who was very inconsistent towards you. So you would know who this person is because they were inconsistent. They were probably showing off or trying to impress you at one point. But in terms of really... Um, Perhaps you ask this person what do they want and they they didn't know what they want. So that's the person that we're talking about here. For now, I feel like they are, it looks to me like they may not, they're very quiet, yeah, or emitting. They're not talking to you. They are doing their own self-work, yeah. Understanding how they feel about you, about the situation, about the connection with you, perhaps even thinking about the last time you were together. How do they feel about it? What what do they think about it? Yeah, It's more about this person taking their own time and space right now to understand what has happened and how it impacted them and how it how do they feel about it right now. Somebody who's also asking themselves yeah, and trying to get answers from within okay especially if they were uncertain before and their uncertainty did not really stop you from doing what you want to get to your happiness to do your life that means that you did not whatever this person's uncertainty was did not really affect you yeah at least that's how they see it yeah, if they tell you they were not sure about relationship, then a Libra here would just, okay, if you're not sure, I'll continue with my own thing and then I'll get to what I want. So you have your own life going here. And now, although they were uncertain, I feel like this person has emotionally bonded with you. And that emotional, emotional bond is very hard to ignore. Yeah, so this person will get to a point and decide what do they want from here? What are they gonna do with you? Yeah, they are not done yet. It may feel like they're quiet and all that, but this person will get to a point of standing at the crossroads. What should I do? Should I just keep hanging on here, waiting for Libra to call me? Because it looks like Libra is too busy to initiate, you know, something like that. So what do I do now? Where do I go? What should I tell Libra how should I approach Libra then yeah let's clarify you're good in your own Libra I feel like you're good in your own and with this person this is at the bottom of the deck we have the five of wands so this person is, is somehow you see there's a little potential here. There is some something here, yeah? At least on your end, you can say you know what you want in terms of long term. And somehow you are already there. Like you are probably comfortable right now wherever you are. But in terms of this person, you know that there is a potential here, something that could possibly grow. So that's why you're giving it a little bit of attention you're you're investing on it a little bit more yeah because you feel like yeah there is something here that could possibly become something big later on it could be a relationship or you, you there's something about this person that probably interests you something it's not everything but there's something now um but that doesn't stop you from going on with what you want in life 
Yeah, there's something there, but in terms of of um, really putting effort in in getting them to be in your life, I feel like you are not really chasing. In fact, you are chasing something else. You're chasing your passion, chasing whatever you want in life, your status, your everything. You're, you're chasing something that is good for you. Focus on you, which is good. It's a very powerful stance, right? Now, this person, um, they will get to a point where, if, for some of you, if, if you know that this person do have a third party, I feel like they want to get that over with. Yeah, they're closing it up. They're finishing it off. Because that itself is giving them some sort of depression. It's depressing them. Yeah. So, like I said, this is someone who has really felt or that emotional connection with you and I feel like they are processing this over and over in their head, in their heart. They're trying to understand how they think or how you think even. So they are processing it. When we say processing, different people process things differently. And this is someone who is processing from the heart first before they could understand it. So they feel that connection with you. But in order for them to truly understand in their mind, why they feel that bond it has to be them yeah to get to that place it's not gonna be your input that could bring them there to that under to that level of understanding so this person i feel like they're doing their own work they're processing it right now in terms of understanding it right understanding what this connection really means for them Okay, and I feel like they could be waiting for you. For some of you, this is someone who's waiting for you to reach out. <laughs> yeah, they could be waiting for you to reach out because their inconsistency, especially if they were uncertain in the beginning, right? Now is leaving them uh, that sense of, wow, I was inconsistent with Libra, but Libra was very busy on her own getting all the attention, getting all the success. It seems like wherever they are, they are actually behind all this bright light that you have right now. So now they are sort of even overthinking things. It's like, shoots, if Libra do not have time for me, what do I do then? Where do I go? Yeah, so there is a lot of internal conflict. Let's, let's clarify what is this Eight of Swords here. Yeah. Ah, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have... This is a very beautiful reading. It's just, it's a little confusing in the beginning. Much like your connection, Libra. <laughs> but at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. There's someone here... Someone here is willing to start something off. Um... Someone here is willing to start something off with you. If you started off in physical connection, let's say you slept together or whatever you did, Libra, that involves action, right, with this person, you hung out, it looks to me like um, that could have created the spark. Yeah. But because it's the beginning, right, it needs nurturing, but if someone here stopped nurturing it because they were ermiting, yeah, the other party, which is you, would likely feel disappointed. Yeah. But instead of being a chaser, instead of bogging them, instead of nagging this person, you shine further. You go on your own. You know, you go on your own success. You do whatever you feel is good for you. And that becomes, that puts you in a successful position, right? So now this person is left like thinking, what do I do now? Because it, it seems like they don't know what they want. They, do, they don't know what to do now. 
probably even embarrassed or afraid because they were the one who was uncertain. They did not give you the answer. They were the ones who was inconsistent. So now there is a very strong drive for this person to communicate how they truly feel. You see, now the outcome of this connection, Libra, is the King of Swords and the Two of Cups. This is someone who felt emotionally bonded when you probably hung out together. This person feels that connection with you. Yeah, And um, they were pretty uncertain in the beginning. But sooner or later, you will see that this person will come in with full truth of what they want. And that is what they want. Probably you started with a physical connection, but what they truly want now is the cups you started with the wants excitement sex physical physicality right but all the but they want here is that union yeah like both of you agreeing that hey let's try to do this together yeah not just physical part but more of you know there is a love growing love here between two people who see each other eye to eye who could understand each other and see where this goes yeah so this is someone who wants to talk about having that relationship moving forward. Okay, let's find out additional message for Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What do we have here? Nothing else to do. There's nothing you could have done differently. Challenges teach you everything. Everything is as it should be. So you don't really have to do anything. Cut cords with old flames and clear the way for new love. Libra, for some of you, September, you will have your own love, which is already this, this month. Lovely. So just be open for it. Yeah? You don't have to search. Just be open for it because it looks like it looks like you may find someone new. Or a new love is about to start in your life. Yeah, Clear the way for a new love in September. And the last test, still the same person. Nothing has changed, but have you learned the lesson? Okay. For some of you, there will be somebody who's coming back. And this is just a question of, are you going to fall into the same trap all over again? Yeah. Treasure chest. A windfall of good things are happening all around you. Expect some good luck. And be open to all possibilities. I feel like this windfall of good things, this is your Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So be open, Libra, to all possibilities. Let's get you more messages from this person. What's going on? They miss you so much. They are holding back. They have a heavy heart. Isn't that right? <laughs> they have a heavy heart there. And connect with me. This is someone who's also waiting for you to initiate possibly. All right, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in a comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.